Battlefield 4, a game that didn't need a campaign, but they decided to give us one anyway. So recently I took a look at Battlefield 3's take on tank operations, and that was alright despite one or two critical issues. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we getting out? Why are we getting out? See, the tank can move forward without... I could have stayed on the tank for all of this. But for all its faults, nothing could have prepared me for the absolute insanity that is Battlefield 4's campaign. Unfortunately for me, the mission I needed to look at was the one I had the most issues with. Let's get to it. Heading into Singapore. I have a lot of issues with this campaign, especially the Singapore section because it's really grossly inaccurate. But here we go. Yeah, you wouldn't go through the strait. That is not a very deep passage of water for a carrier to go through. I will say the skyline of the city is accurate. Like that, all the apartment blocks and everything, that's accurate. That is that is what it looks like. That is also where the, uh, the accuracies end. Ooh, okay, well, I, I didn't mean to hit that. Whoa. Okay, it looks like we've got uh, another M1A2 moving up. The tank doesn't need to be that close. I do need to point that out. The tank does not need to be that close to engage. It also probably wouldn't need an infantryman on the ground to tell it what to shoot at. It would be shooting. Okay, yep, taking out vehicles like that. Pretty much what a, a tank is for. You wouldn't want to fire the 120 that close to infantry or to your target. And there's pretty good reasons for it. Okay, so it looks like we're blocked here. Wait, what are you doing? No. No, 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 no. You would not do this. It's a tank, not a monster truck. You do not do this. So, for those who don't know, yes, tanks can crush cars. They can usually go over one car where needed, but if you're going over 10, 20, 30 cars, you're gonna have a lot of problems. And there is also one other very good reason why tanks do not run over cars in combat, and it's this. Like, in this scenario, I don't think they had anywhere else they could have gone. Huh, that actually does look like the Singapore Police logo. That is actually pretty correct. The car is completely wrong, but the logo is almost correct. Oh, hi. What's interesting is the tank is off to the side now while the infantry are pushing down the middle. It usually is the opposite, so the tank would be in the middle kind of providing that cover, and the troops would then be surrounding it on the flanks. Just a... yeah. Okay, yeah, I would have a concussion from you doing that right there. Yeah, I mean, stopping here to fire would be a good spot for the tank to do that. They wouldn't need to... You don't want to outrun your infantry either. Oh, that's a grenade. All right, so that's an anti-aircraft vehicle. That's a prime target for the tank. Again, it's a little close to be engaging with the main gun like that. Now, I don't believe the tank should have needed an instruction to do that. That... That vehicle there is pretty obvious. But again, this distance is way too short for a Sabo discard, so... The only type of round you might be able to use is an HE. Which might not be that effective. Well, oh, tank just ran over somebody. Is that a point blank shot? What was that? Okay, the crew are wearing contacts. Well, they're not wearing helmets. So this is not... No, this is not a crewman outfit at all. Uh, they use coveralls and crew... <laughs> CVC helmets. There's there's no contacts in Spec Ops glasses or ba ball caps. So what are we doing now then? If the tank's down, we can just go around. We can hop the fence and go around. What's going on here? Are we... No, we're not taking the tank. Okay. We're gonna end up leaving the crew stranded with no... <laughs> without any of their stuff, because all their gear is in the tank, by the way. And none of you have any training whatsoever. This is not gonna go well. But the game wants me to do it. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, I mean, the, the rest of the platoon would be wondering... Why in the hell are you doing... What are you doing without tank? Also, why are there only three of us? Uh, most Western tank platoons are four tanks, not three. Uh, three is typically uh, Soviet and Eastern Bloc. Well, it doesn't matter. There's only two of us now. Oh, that's an enemy tank there. 
Okay, he's getting a little close. Yeah, you you don't want to be. Okay, that enemy tank just a friendly tank just disappeared. It's not occupied, but you destroy enemy vehicles where possible too. At least that one seems to be immobilized now. So. Oh, there's an enemy tank. It's like a APC actually. So always engage highest threat first. Yeah, ideally we want to heat rounds for these guys. Oh, there's another one. Again, we're in urban combat. A lot of different angles that we can be engaged from. You don't want that. And you want to maintain your distance. So these Sabos have at least a, a chance of performing correctly. Whoa. Where did you come from? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Tanks don't do that. We're way too close. We can fire, but that is not what we. This is not an ideal engagement distance. A point blank shot is not as effective as you might think it would be. You don't have a choice. You do it anyway. But no. Oh, hello. Okay, where are we going? We're not going through that, are we? Can we not go around? Yeah, we can go around. Let's just go around. Okay, so the game's making me go through here. Good to know that we're actually following the entrance and not the exit point. Uh, 3.2 meters might not be enough clearance for some tanks. And I want to go on record as saying this is a really bad idea. What? Oh, God. Yeah, let's just leave the tank there. The enemy aren't going to steal it or anything. Why don't we just take this? This is functional. I don't think these ramps are rated for armored vehicles. Like, cars are about, you know, two, three tons. Even the smallest APC is about 10 to 15 tons. Not a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's go. There's an enemy tank. Okay, we have thermals this time. That, so that shot to the side should have been a disabling shot. Yeah, it shouldn't take that many shots to kill a tank, but I think Battlefield has a kind of warped idea of how much damage tank shells do versus missiles. They do also like the idea of tanks driving through buildings a lot. Is there another tank? Also, I don't think it needs saying. But yeah, we don't have these warnings like critical damage or anything like that. You have to figure out what's damaged on your own tank. We also don't have health bars. I will say they do get thermals pretty right in this game. <laughs> The Battlefield series has gotten thermals pretty right, because you can still see the tank through the bushes in the thermals. Which is pretty accurate. Okay, well, the tank's out. I guess we're not allowed to have the tank anymore. So I'm gonna sit here firing rockets at it until it dies. But yeah, I think we have lost our tank. Oh no, wait, there is uh, an APC here. Let's just use that. Oh, I just missed. Yeah, auto cannons can actually be pretty effective against tanks. All right, we got our tank back, let's go. It's currently scanning for enemies right here. There's one. These tanks fire twice. I'm not quite sure how they're doing that. So the main thing with tanks is you really just want to keep your distance, engage from, uh, or engage from as great a distance as you possibly can. You don't want to be up in their face at any point. So in this case, it's a longer range and we're having to elevate. You wouldn't want to do that. You just would laze the target. Just aim at, at it straight on after you get your laze. 
And you get the range of it. You wouldn't be aiming off like this. But let's just assume that his rangefinder or his turret stabilizer is down. It's been damaged and that's why we're doing that. I mean, it's driving like the, the stabilizer is down. So maybe, maybe that's what's going on. So that's going to do it for me for Battlefield 4. This was not an enjoyable experience at all. But if you want to see me play games that are actually fun, feel free to check out some of my other videos. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.